Hey everybody, in this video we're going to go over features, options, and settings for your simple home security camera. This camera allows you to control, stream, and playback videos from anywhere. It records in 720p, has a two-way talk feature, can be set to always record or start recording when motion is detected, and it records in segments with automatic recycling. For this video, you'll want to insert a micro SD card into your camera. Now that we've looked at the camera, let's go over some features in the app. On the home screen, press the camera icon to go to your list of cameras. This screen shows you what cameras you have connected and their current status. Select the camera and it will take you to the live feed screen. The camera records using a wide angle lens with resolution at 1280 by 720. Turn your phone horizontally to enter full screen mode. To use digital zoom, pinch the screen. You can also navigate by dragging your finger on the image. Now let's quickly go over the seven buttons on the bottom of the screen. The speaker button lets you listen to what's going on. Press the mic to speak through your camera speaker. Press the video icon to take a video. You know when you're recording, when you see a time code. Press the video icon again to stop the recording. Press the camera icon to take a snapshot. All videos and snapshots taken will save to your phone automatically. Use the horizontal and vertical buttons to flip the image. The QVGA button controls the quality of the video. This is good if you don't have the mobile bandwidth to stream in HD. The environment mode button lets you toggle through modes. There are four modes, night mode, outdoor mode, 60 hertz, and 50 hertz. Now that we went through all the features, let's go through the options and settings. To get to the options and settings, press the ellipsis button in the top right corner of the image. Press the event log button to see where motion triggered recordings are logged. On this screen, you can select and playback videos that are saved onto your SD card on your camera. The gallery button lets you see manually recorded pictures and videos from the live feed screen. To do photo, press the edit button, select a picture, and press the trash can on the bottom of the screen. You can also delete a file by leaving your finger on the thumbnail. Press the star button to add your device to your list of favorites. You can find the favorites in the home screen on the toolbar under favorites. Finally, press the settings button to check out the settings. In settings, you could change the device name. I'm going to change my device name right now to warehouse. Notification interval lets you set how often you get notification from motion detections. This is great if you're having a lot of people over and don't want constant notifications all night. Recording mode lets you toggle between full-time recording or event recording. That is, if the camera is recording all the time or only when motion is detected. There's a time zone setting and a format SD card setting, which allows you to delete everything off your camera. Event settings allows you to turn on or off motion detection. It also allows you to switch the sensitivity. There's a device information tab A reconnect setting that allows you to refresh all connections made through devices. There's a button to update the camera. And finally, a button to remove your camera. If connection should fail, press the refresh button on the image and it will reconnect. 
That was a quick video on how to operate the Simple Home Security Camera. Thanks for watching, guys.